Good morning. I'm back. It's Monday morning. How are you all? Yes, I'm actually up and moving and ready to video this morning, this early on a Monday morning. It's a great way to start on my Monday morning out with you guys. If you are watching this video, please say hello. Um, I love to have company while I'm doing my makeup and I love to chit chat with you guys. So if you are here live with me, please say hello. Please like and share this video, that helps me so much. If you're getting value from this video, um, other people could as well, so that's where I really, really appreciate it if you could share this video. And I am just gonna hop right in here. My name is Gina Burnett, and I am the owner of Shine with Gina B, which is a skincare and makeup company. I am a presenter for Unique Makeup, and I am going to show you um, a technique today. It's an eyeshadow technique um, that is very simple. Anybody can do this, whether you're a beginner or you're a seasoned um, makeup wearer, you can do this look. And I'm going to be using our pressed shadows today. And these are really cool because they are infused with primer. So if you're looking for, hey Lori, if you are looking for an eyeshadow that will go the distance for you and will really hold its color all day long, these are for you. Um, you can buy these in a single color, you can buy them in a quad, or you can buy them in sets of eight. So um, the choice is really yours. Or you can go and you can get the 25 palette like I have here, and I'm just gradually filling that in as I go. So the technique that we're, hey Carla, the technique that I'm going to use this morning, again, is for any eye shape, any age, I am going to be sticking with matte colors. Um, as I get older, I tend to gravitate more towards the mattes. I might use a shimmer on my actual eyelid here and there, but for the most part, I stick with mattes. And so what you wanna do, you can do this with any makeup that you have at home now even, you're gonna pick three shades. You want a light, a medium, and a dark. It's that simple, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. I am going to be using this shade here, which is called Nimble. I'm going to be using this shade here, which matches my shirt. And this is Fanatical, I believe. I'll check when I get to it. And then I'm going to be using this shade here, which I will check on that when I get to it as well. So you can see I have a light, a medium, and a dark. Light, medium, dark. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this medium shade and that's gonna be my transition shade. So I have already applied my splurge um, cream shadow that I talked to you about that I use every day as my primer. Um, I've already put that on, I've already done my brows. The only thing I have left to do this morning is my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna tap with a fluffy brush. This is like a fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna tap into that mi uh, middle shade. I'm gonna tap it off a little bit because I don't want a bunch of fallout. And I'm gonna just start blending this very lightly into my crease. And because I'm using this big fluffy brush, it's gonna go into my crease and slightly above, so it's gonna start rubbing into my brow bone. And what do you wanna do is you wanna hold this um, back away from the tip. You are not down here like a pen, because that is gonna put a ton of pressure there. And what happens when you do that, you'll get a bunch of color all in one spot that is not gonna be very easy to blend because it's gonna be very concentrated in that spot. So you always wanna hold your um, eyeshadow pencils back, either towards the middle or even all the way out to the end. And I'm just swirling this in there, kind of blending this as I go. Hi, Tammy. And this is my transition shade and it's called the color Nimble. So you can see the difference in the two eyes there already. Just by putting this middle color in the crease, it's already starting to pull that eye up and to give it a more open look. So then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna tip, just dip my fluffy brush into that color nimble. I'm gonna tap off a little bit and I'm gonna start blending that in right into the crease and above. Kind of just, um, I can feel my brow bone as I'm 
circling this in. You always want to start light. You can always build. You can always add more color, but if you get too much color at first, it's really difficult to take off. So you want to start lighter and build your color. I use Nimble a lot. It's a fabulous transition color. It's just the perfect like nut brown color. It's great for a neutral look. It's beautiful 